Hi all on YouTube, Shadows in here, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're talking all about amethyst as an aid for anxiety. So I love amethyst, it's one of my favorite crystals. I've used it for a variety of purposes and I was inspired to share this video because I made a blog post and a video on talking about how I use crystals for mental health and I mentioned amethyst among the crystals that I use. So I've shared in prior videos about amethyst before and using it for intuition and I want to talk about anxiety because I do have anxiety um, mostly in certain situations and I want to share how I help that with crystals and in addition to other mundane things like therapy and like talk therapy and journaling and meditation so in addition to meditating with amethyst which is not the only way you can connect with it for anxiety I've programmed a specific amethyst or charge as it's also referred to as I've charged it for connecting with calming energy because I feel like amethyst has an innate calming energy within it and I feel like anytime I've placed an, an, uh, an amethyst in a room it's just calmed the space and it's really good at getting rid of negative energy unlike some other crystals like obsidian or onyx that will absorb the energy or tourmaline, black tourmaline will absorb the energy. I feel like they will um, just kind of negate it or neutralize it, if you will. And the way that I've used amethyst in a more everyday sense is I've put some like, not just on my altar, but like near like my bedside table, I've put an amethyst um, in my purse to carry with me or in my pocket. I've had amethyst necklaces or jewelry, so you can wear one and you know use it specifically for aiding with anxiety. I've done that to help keep me calm in like crowded situations. Large crowds give me anxiety, um, and other types of situations. If you love working with herbs, you can totally do that. You can use lavender or chamomile. Um, in the blog post I mentioned lavender, and also in addition to creating. Um, ways you can use amethyst away from the altar, you can use it at an altar too, and even if you're not like a practicing pagan or witch and you just want to use amethyst in your life, um, you can take the amethyst and make a grid, a crystal grid, and you can create the grid to um, help you promote healing and to promote anxiety relief. I've created a grid with just amethyst and other important pieces of crystals that I've used for aiding it with anxiety. So for example, I used hematite for grounding. So in this particular instance, I'm referring to grounding as like keeping me grounded in the present moment, not typically the grounding that you see when working magic or doing some kind of ritual in the context of witchcraft. So like grounding your energy after um, raising a lot of energy and, and spell work or even before in some cases, depending on the person's practice or path. So I'm specifically referring to grounding in the sense of like, grounding in the present moment and being present in the space that I'm in, the moment that I'm in, what's happening right here, right now. So recording this video in this case, if I was becoming distracted or anxious for any given reason, for instance. Additionally, you can, instead of creating a grid, you can use it in a candle so like if you were to do a spell for anxiety relief you can use the grid with the candle at its center instead of the amethyst at its centerpiece or you can put an amethyst up front um, to be as your center stone and you can pass it through the candle alongside other crystals like hematite for grounding like I said quartz for amplification you can use Rhodochrosite for emotional balance and healing. You can use sodalite for um, healing energy, or if you don't have rhodochrosite or if you don't have clear quartz, you can use sodalite. You can also use other crystals that you might associate with healing. I like some of those. I also like, um, I forget, I think it's called blue calcite. Uh, I know it's a type of calcite, I just can't remember because I only own a few pieces. Um, you can use malachite as well i've used malachite for healing mostly for protection but i've definitely used it for healing as well uh, just as a quick note do not put hematite or malachite within water 
um, if you're going to cleanse them. You may need to cleanse them before and charge them as well. You can pass it through the candle flame to charge it with that ang um, anxiety healing energy. Or you can do it using the sun or the moon. Although for amethyst, I would highly recommend the less exposure to the sun you have, the better. So if you're going to put it in the sun, please put it in the sun for a certain level of time. Um, maybe five minutes or so, maybe ten at the most. Don't put it in for long periods because the color will fade. Or just put it in the light of a full moon. Um, you can use water. Just be very careful. Not in the water, but like a little bit of water over it and visualize. I have a video on cleansing methods as well. Or on discussing cleansing. I will link that below as well. Um, other ways you can work with amethyst... Like I said, you can meditate with it, you can journal. I've journaled with one amethyst by me just to kind of help me get my thoughts out and just to have that energy there. I believe amethyst is a very calming stone. Its ability to remove energy and just calm negative energy is really helpful. I love it. It's a great uh, crystal to work with. So this is just some of the ways that I've worked with it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'd love to hear how you've worked with it, if it helps you. And I hope you all have found this video helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. And I hope you all are well. Many blessings.